do here. Welcome to the channel if you found it. We're going to dive into our 12 Zodiac region. So let's see where we are as we have paradigm shifts to help us see differently, giving us inspiration with an ace of pentacles or poetry, inspiring us to sing our music and sing it loudly with the four of wands, sharing in the pleasure of mm, victory. So Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Restriction there is being broken as you have an explosion of new ideas, uh, Cancer. Things held secret in the night from those that are swift in and out energy. Swiftness is coming in there for you, um, Virgo, and it's going to inspire you for something stable. The division of your mind there, Libra, as you're seeking to forgive something, to transcend and grow the wings to grow into your pleasure. Pleasure there is being expressed by showing your full raw emotion there. Sagittarius and um, Scorpio. The book of life holds all the mysteries. Make sure you don't restrict yourself by reading ahead. <laughs> Truth straight from Aquarius's lips as they just dot their I's and cross their T's with um, Pisces energy there. Hmm. Practice makes perfect. Reflect on wisdoms and things learned during the process. Destiny's here. Clear the way so you can find what makes you illuminate. A storm's coming. And the beautiful clear that's afterwards is going to reveal who and what and what you are about. The reason. What is your purpose? Back to fancies. All right. Beautiful. Star energy, reversal energy, melancholy meets modeling. He popped up finally tonight. I think I found how I can assist more. The, the feminine nature is being guided by the stars. Mm, all right, we got happiness. Mm, change, drastic change. Uh, where was that at? There it is. The doors of imagination are opening for the air signs and practice forging your destiny water signs. I don't know why I did that. I just did it. Uh, I don't know. And for a slide of creation. So let's shuffle this up good. And we'll get um, a card on each of these. And then we'll dive into our Tree of Life Kabbalah reading. As the Empress returns, I guess the overall energy for these clarifications will be truth and how, how do we grow from lightning struck towers the two paths forward so let's dive into it inspiration ace of pentacles is grown from our disappointments and so we know how to choose wisely better to seek our happiness the hanged ghost is referring back to that reversal energy a paradigm shift that comes from sudden change imagination as the wheel of fortune turns and you see different things from different sites the the benefit of that paradigm shift is that again the same thing that you do every day will suddenly be vastly different kind of like the um the wide variety of joy a kid has and then you leap into it leap into exposing your secrets and exposing yourself to those secrets so you can leap into a new way of being instead of overthinking hmm Swiftly coming in is going to be that um, a really reliable opportunity. Don't get in your mind too much about it. Drop your guard a little bit. Um, I just for some reason wanted each of them to drop a sword, which would make them four swords, which makes you not think, which allows you to see the truth wherever it went. Division in your mind. Which path do I choose? Change. Change is the answer. Hmm. I feel like giving you another card. Yeah. Go learn something new. Mm, inspired to cut. 
You got forgiveness there with the Hierophant, with that energy of creation from the Empress uh, Scorpio. So allow that tower to fall and have a sense of gratitude for when it does. It'll change your perspective and give you truth. There it is. Sagittarius. Mm, Raleigh exposing who you are and seeing all the options that you can manage and be. She's sculpting, she's drawing, she's probably doing mathematics. I don't know, expand your horizons and express every aspect. You may not even know what you're actually good at. The mystery is that, look at all, you may not know what you're actually good at. Look at all those options. It's that book of life mystery there, Capricorn. Hang out with the Sagittarius and expand y'all's minds and thinkings quickly. Uh, Aquarius, you are just dropping truth and dropping it swiftly. And you're showing others the way to a different path. Mm. Facing the truth, you get facing and wielding and being the truth, you get your dreams made manifest with the Ten of Coins, where your freaking car is a fucking tiger. <laughs> King and Queen of Swords, but healthy. Because they will truths at the Emperor, the Divine. Oh, where's she got? She's like right here. No, Three of Cups. But that's what, that's the key there. To see all your options, you must open up pride and ego. It's okay to expose yourself, especially if you're a king. So they judge you. Fuck them. <laughs> but they're, uh, they're, Peasant, uneducated, uncontext wielding uh, opinions be just that an opinion and forgive them for just being small minded. So, um, there's the energy for your 12 zodiac spot on. It's actually a pretty nice reading. I like that. Oh, did I drop one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the past. Mm. Now what to stand for, bossing up and dreaming there. Taurus, after that lightning falls and you change that perspective, dream again. Don't let disappointment steal your honor. Make that impossible shot, everyone. That energy of February. It's time to be the emperors and step into our destinies align with the divine and embrace the energy of creation with a divine uh, feminine energy open up pride and ego can only get you so far and then you have to toss it and for something else love shows up on the bottom line everybody that's a secret everybody would know and would have balance in their life <laughs> all right there's your energy. Adult yourself with it. And if you find yourself in a dark space, mm, Q's got you.